Hello to everybody watching today's video. Now I've got to start off by saying YouTube is going to absolutely love this video. It's not going to get demonetized or restricted at all. They're going to be pushing this on everyone's homepage from here to China. No, no, actually what's going to happen is they don't like these topics, but I am going to start off by saying this entire video is done for safety and harm reduction. We do not promote or glorify the use of any substance whatsoever. All the advice and data points I'm giving are to help keep people safe, keep them educated so they make smarter decisions. But regardless, you can take that for how you will. Anyway, today what we're gonna be talking about is the best compounds, the most effective rather compounds to increase interpersonal relationships, to help you bond, create a strong, cohesive connection with another autonomous human. Yeah, we're talking about humans with Autonomy, not robotic humans, none of those AI assholes. Anyway, so there's gonna be a list. We're gonna list the top five. And again, this is my opinion. And I think a lot of this is just universal knowledge of the five best compounds to help two people either communicate more in a more vulnerable way, more intuitively, to help them have better physical relations with each other, more passion, more compassion for each other's problems, to help them feel more safe and secure with their partner, to express things that they've been holding down or maybe holding in a locked cage within themselves, hiding with fear of rejection if they express that they cheated. You know, there's so many things people hide and there are certain things, some of them we call the truth serum compounds, that can help someone to unlock the padlocks, open up the gate, and let all of their inner bullshit just flow out freely. And on the other receiving end of this, it will make your partner be less likely to leave you, at least during the experience when you say you've been cheating the whole time. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but but it, does, it does help elicit more compassion from both parties, depending on the compound. So in my opinion, there's actually, this is fitting. It's not that I'm picking the five best, like, okay, these are the five best, but these are actually the only five that I would even consider using besides poppers, if you want to loosen up the that anal sphincter, but that one's not on our list because we're not talking about binding over that. We're talking about bonding mainly over emotions, a little bit of physical contact. Anyway, these are the five best ones. And I'm gonna list them in order from what I think to be either the most tumultuous or rather either the most one that is the most challenging to actually bond on, but still when bonded has insane potential to the one that is the easiest to elicit compassion within two parties, okay? So though this is, and we're gonna start from the least, the one with the least potential to bond, but still it is there to the best. Anyway, without further ado and more dicking around, let's jump into today's video. These are the five most powerful compounds to bond with your significant other. We're gonna start this list off with the one that in my opinion has the most potential, but to unlock that potential, you both gotta be super comfortable on it, and you gotta be with someone who's your twin flame or soulmate. You have to have a very deep soul connection to really unlock its potential. And if I haven't given it away yet, we're talking about my man, Acid. I love you. I love you too. LSD, lysergic acid diethylamide. Now, it's very important that both of you, before you even consider bonding on this substance, have some experience in the psychedelic headspace. If you've never done it before and it's your first trip on your own period, let alone together, you need to, well, it's gonna be intense and you're gonna have really no time to actually bond on it because you're gonna be too overwhelmed with all of the feelings, sensations, visuals that are flooding through you. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you're comfortable on it, make sure your partner's comfortable on it, and you're gonna take a modest, to a little bit above average dose. We don't want any heroic doses here because that's gonna destroy the bonding potential. Different doses promote different things. I would say anywhere from as low as 50 micrograms to maybe around 300, maybe 400 max is going to unlock the doors for the most cohesive bond. But basically what it does is it not only destroys your whole concept of society and your concept of right, well, not in right and wrong, you still know right and wrong, but you kind of forget everything you've been taught and you're almost like an empty slate and you are so susceptible to suggestion and you're pulled out of your ego to a degree where you're fully open to somebody else and you can fully receive them. It's a really beautiful thing. And also, if you want to believe in some woo-woo magic here, it can kind of show you just how deep your connection is to this person on a non-physical plane. Because I found with people, whether it was in a negative or positive way that I had some kind of deep connection to, it would unlock the doors for like telepathic communication. We could communicate with our minds and I don't know anything that can make you feel more in tune or close to someone than being able to hear their gosh darn thoughts. Now there's that level, so it can increase compassion, the communication, there's this really intense shit that just words could never even attempt to identify, but also on a physical level, it enhances the skin sensation of touch. 
the electrical impulses feel mega electrified to the point where you almost feel like you're being zapped with energy. And another person's touch is mesmerizing. So you could have a great time just like, just feeling each other's bodies, feeling your skin pressed up against their skin. We don't even need to get into the depths of the sexual experiences that can come out of it because regular touch is amplified, of course touch between those ultra sensitive glands down there is going to be exponentially amplified. And I've had experiences where I didn't even know which one of us was orgasming. It's like, am I, are you? It's like, especially if you're having telep telepathic communication during it, you're going in their body, they're going in your body. You are having the most otherworldly insane bonding experience you've ever experienced. And this would easily be number one on the list. Okay. The reason why it's pushed to number five is because to actually reach this bonding potential, there are so many things that need to be check marked to get there. Like you need to have a soul connection. You need to be comfortable on it. It's not for everybody. It's not going to be universally the same. There's a lot of people who on acid together are actually going to feel more pushed away from their partner. They might get scared. They might have anxieties. They might feel like they just want to be alone. So like there's so many things that need to be connected prior to the experience for it to actually reach its potential, which is why it's number five, but it could easily be number one. Moving on, number four. The fourth most powerful bonding agent is not super glue bonding agent. That's where my head goes. I think of glue. It would have to be 2CB. Now, 2CB is also known as the beginner psychedelic. It's also known as Nexus or back in the day in the 70s, it was sold in sex shops by the brand name Eros, which is very interesting. That was before it was scheduled. Now, because it's called the beginner psychedelic, the effects are not too intense. If you took a monster dose, it might begin to knock on the door of 100, 150 micrograms of acid. But even in high doses, it doesn't enter that same sense of mystical spiritualism that acid is imbued with. So it has a sense of just groundedness to it. And it also does the same thing as acid. It increases touch. In fact, in terms of physical touch, 2CB is known to amplify it even more than acid. It's a very interesting feeling, and I've had some great sexual escapades on my man, 2CB. It also opens the door for sharing in different doses, it has different effects. So around the 10 milligram range, people say that it actually feels like a light version of Molly to them, which is fascinating. I've never felt that, don't quote me. For me, it's never felt anything like MDMA, but some people say it does. And all these things affect everybody differently. So it gives you a bit of a mood boost. You actually feel more inclined to share. You're more open to accepting. It has all of these effects, but the sharing aspect is actually to a lesser degree than number three. Wow, that rhyme, lesser degree than number three. So there's that. So moving on, let's go to the third best bonding material. And that is going to be, wait, no, shit. When I said to a lesser degree than number three, I meant to a lesser degree than number, what do we got? So to a lesser degree than number two. Number three is not, is, is not relevant to what I just said. So we're moving on to number three. Number three is going to be the most easily accessible to people, and that is cannabis, marijuana, weed, the green stuff. And I wanna quote a study that I've read that really elicits just the insane potential that it has and why. It actually has to do with oxytocin and a study with mice. The love hormone and weed both make you bond with others. It says, want to get close and personal with someone? A new study shows a link between oxytocin and THC improves interpersonal bonding. What do hugs and weed have in common? Well, both either make you feel comfortable or earth shatteringly anxious. Sometimes mood dependent, they make you pretty horny, but apparently they can have the ability to make you bond with people, like make real connections, dude. Praise be stoners. This may add much needed weight to the decriminalization argument Argument, researchers at the University of California have discovered the link between the love or hug hormone oxytocin and the effect of marijuana on human behavior that improves interpersonal bonding. Oxytocin triggers the release of a chemical called the bliss molecule or anandamide, which helps to activate brain receptors and increase happiness and motivation. Testing this with animals showed that mice, which were given the marijuana, why does it call it marijuana? That's an old propaganda term, propaganda. Let's just call it cannabis, which stops an anandamide deterioration, reacted as they enjoyed spending time with their mice mates much more than mice that were served a placebo drug. This is the first study of its kind to look at weed and oxytocin. And on a serious note, looking into this further could help scientists know more about oxytocin and show social impairments like autism and potentially develop new methods to tackle symptoms of autism. Um, yeah, I find that very interesting. And on another level, I have found that when I'm high and say having sex, I mean, you can last longer. You're again, with that increased sensitivity, a lot of these have that in common, more sensitive to touch. And even just on another note, for some reason, 
it just feels better. It's not gonna make me wanna have sex, is it? It makes sex even better. It's like your mind is more open and you're less clouded with thinking about a million things at once. And I can more so just focus at the task at hand and it just makes it more enjoyable. And people really do, you know, when they get stoned together, they're in an altered state and they feel more connected. Now, the reason why I made this number three on this list above things like 2CB is just because it's so easily accessible to people. And a lot of people are really comfortable already in the weed state. And it's just something that a lot of people are more likely to do than 2CB. But realistically, I would say 2CB is better. But just really due to the accessibility factor and the comfort factor, I think weed should be at number three. Anyway, moving on. Number two, the second best bonding agent is going to be not what you expect. I know what you guys think number one is going to be. Number one is not what you're anticipating. Number two is Miss Molly. I want to smoke a Molly with you. Or Mandy in the UK. MDMA. Some people call it beans, which is weird. Or Adam. That's right. My name is MDMA. Think about it. MDMA. Move the letters around and you get A-D-A-M. Oh, I am Molly. No, really. But I don't think I have to explain why MDMA is so powerful for human connection. It's actually used in therapy. In fact, uh, MAPS has gone past, I think, stage three of their clinical trials using MDMA to help heal the most intense cases of PTSD. What it allows you to do is take old memories of traumatic events and bring them up when you're in this bliss-filled, fully accepted state so you can attach new feelings to old memories. Now, in a bonding sense, people use it in therapy just to help people you know, bond with their therapist to open up to their problems and take down their walls. So that's what it does with an intimate partner. Your walls are down. You want to tell them your entire life. You get excited to share. It makes sharing just feel blissful. Like the more you talk and the more you open up, the more you feel euphoria. It's a really interesting effect. And it's been helping people make fake connections since the 1980s. No, but really, there's one caveat here. The connections can feel a little falsified. They can feel chemically induced, which is completely accurate. They are chemically induced. But sometimes if you're bonding with strangers, it can feel like you almost have too much love for them. So you want to have some discretion here with who you bond with, because in the same regard, it can help you build a deep, intimate connection with someone who's absolutely horrible for you. This happened to me more than once. I made connections with the most cruel, evil person, people you can imagine, because I chose to accept them and see them differently well under the effects of... Of M. So you got to be careful, but it also has that same effect. I don't want to sound like a broken record here. Increased touch of uh, sex is going to be better if you can get it up. There's a great deal of vasoconstriction attached to MDMA and a lot of guys just aren't going to get it up. And I do not recommend mixing it with things like Cialis, Tiladophil, or uh, Viagra. In fact, the combination can be very bad for your heart and it's not recommended. So your best bet is to just slow down, wait until the effects wear off a little bit and you're going to still have some of the tail end and then you can enjoy it that way. Anyway, let's move on. Number one. No one's expecting this, no one hears it coming. In my opinion, the best compound to bond and to share all your problems and open up fully with is 3MMC. That's right, 3MMC is a new kid on the block in terms of being used in therapy. A lot of the underground therapists these days, depending on where you live, um, especially in Vancouver, have moved away from promoting MDMA for the therapy and they've moved towards 3MMC. In fact, for some reason, it is even more of a truth serum than MDMA. So all those effects, I don't want to repeat them, of feeling more comfortable sharing, like, you know, being open about cheating and all these things that you'd never want to talk about, all of a sudden on 3MMC, it's even easier to reach it than with MDMA. Absolutely wild. I know. The one thing that it lacks is there's not much, if any, enhancement to touch. No tactile enhancements. Meaning in the sex department, it's going to probably not have very much. It's going to have slight benefits, not going to lie, but nowhere near MDMA. And for some reason, the vasoconstriction on it is even more intense than M. Meaning you, have, if you had no chance of getting it up on M, you have absolutely no chance this side of hell getting it up on 3MC. But again, not to repeat myself, it has all those amazing things that M does and it does it better. So you're even more, you feel even more like opening up and you're even more accepting of their problems and you want to bond and connect even freaking more. I don't know what else to say. Like, I know I'm describing it really stupidly, but, but that's it. It's just, it is the best at opening those doors of communication and keeping them open sometimes long after the experience has worn off. So all you guys who are having problems in your relationships and you want something that's going to help you reach the next level, or there's something you've been scared to share or talk about with your partner, just jump on that 3MMC bandwagon and you guys will have a great time until it wears off and then you feel absolutely guilty that you shared so much and you no longer think about the problems in such an open way and you end the relationship. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you leave a comment for the algorithm. Head on over to our Patreon and head on over to psychsubbins.shop and get your very own super soft, comfy trip blanket. 
These things are made for trippers by trippers. And also what you can do is, do you like the clothes I'm wearing? Mm, pretty snazzy, look at the pants. I love these pants. Whoa, they're very soft. This is this video's sponsor. You can go to youngla.com and use the code psyched, that's psyched, to get 15% off and support the channel. And you can buy everything I'm wearing here, obviously minus a Nike hat, but they have their own hats. I'm just not 100% rocking their wear. But yeah, I actually love these clothes. I've worn this out on numerous days now, and I don't know, I feel like I'm pimping. So that's youngla.com, use code psyched. Anyway, till next time, take care guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know which one from my list you've tried and which one is the best for you personally. And of course, we don't recommend using any of them, but if you're gonna do it, do it safe. Make sure you test all the drugs first, and I will see you guys all later. Peace out.